hello everyone welcome to dada's food crave kitchen if you're new here i welcome you if you are a returning subscriber i also welcome you feel free to look around if you find any of my videos interesting i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that i uploaded guys here i am again with another delicious recipe for you guys you want to watch this video to the end because you don't want to miss any key ingredients in this recipe as you can see here i have baked red snapper with potatoes if you want to see how it's done keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking she will show you everything you need to know A woman that will cook everything for you With a smile on her face every day That is food drift kitchen It's the best you Alright my daughter's team, let's get started with the recipe As you can see, I have my potatoes here all washed and peeled I am going to go ahead and cut the potato one inch apart. Like I said, I want to thank all my old and new returning subscribers for constantly watching my video. And if you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell. You will be one of the first to know whenever I upload a new video. As you can see here, I am going to cut the potatoes one inch apart from each other. Okay, so keep on watching. <music> So after cutting my potatoes, I am going to now go ahead and blend in my ingredients. Here I have spring onions, which some people know it as scallions. Then I'm going to go ahead and use two medium sized onion. Then next I have a handful of garlic. You already know how I like it. I love my garlic. So next I am going to go ahead and cut jalapeno peppers into the blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the seeds out of the jalapeno peppers. You know, you guys already know, if you know Dada already, I like spicy food. But I don't want it to be too extremely hot. So I just wanted to take some of the seeds out from the jalapeno peppers. You can leave them on also if you like, alright? Then next, I'm going to go ahead and add my sweet peppers. These are just only sweet peppers. They're not spicy at all. But also, I'm going to take the seeds off the sweet peppers. I have them in different colors. I have red, yellow, and orange. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process and add them into my blender. So keep on watching. And if you're enjoying this video so far, give this video a big like. And if you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing. And keep on watching, guys. And then to that, I am going to go ahead and add one scotch bonnet pepper. Yes, I didn't want to add the scotch bonnet pepper and the jalapeno peppers all together at, at the same time. Then it's going to be too extremely hot. That's why I took the seeds of the jalapeno peppers. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not measuring. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some curry powder. 
then I'm gonna go ahead and also sprinkle in some black pepper then next I'm going to go ahead and add in my nor seasoning cube use any seasoning of your choice then I'm going to go ahead and also add some salt to taste It's your life music Gonna go ahead and also blend everything until it's well combined. Don't need to make your food taste yummy for everyone. What that a spoon crave kitchen today? And she will show you everything you need to know. A woman that will cook everything for you with a smile on. So after blending the ingredients, this is how everything looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of vegetable oil in the seasoning and give it a good mix also. This will help the fish from sticking also. All right. So I went ahead and pour in a little bit of vegetable oil, give it a little mix. I'm going to put that aside and move on to the next step. She want is just to help you have a happy home, cook every meal for everyone. And next, I am going to go ahead and prep my baking sheet. I'm going to cover it with foil paper. Everything you need to know. Local and international recipes. With a smile on her face every day. Dada's food grave kitchen. is the best you will find. With Dada's food grave kitchen. And here you go guys this is one big red snapper fish it is humongous you can make this recipe with any fish of your choice what you see me doing here i already washed the fish with salt vinegar and lemon all right so i'm just using a paper towel to take most of the water out i want to make sure i don't have too much water into the fish because mind you i am going to be putting this fish in the oven so you want to make sure you tap dry it with a paper towel and soak up most of the water out from the fish all right then next i'm going to create an incision on the fish and then we're going to go ahead and season the fish yes like i said again use any fish you have all right for me this recipe i'm using red snapper what you see me have here is citric acid yes the reason why i'm using citric acid is because i want to avoid using lemon juice or lime into this recipe because then it's gonna create too much water into baking the fish and i don't want that you want to make sure you use the citric acid is the best way to season your fish or if you don't want um, to add any excess water into baking your fish i purchased this from amazon and you want to make sure you use the food grade kind as you can see there it says approved for use of organic food all right you can use this citric acid too if you want to make like um, hot pepper sauce and you want to add some lemon into your um, hot pepper sauce and you don't want to add too much water if you're making hot pepper sauce citric acid is the best way to go all right it doesn't have any salt at all it's just citric acid it's tangy almost like lime all right i'm going to you know rub some into the fish and you know all into the incision of the fish and i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step so after covering a uh, foil paper on my baking sheet i'm going to go ahead and add another foil um, on top of the baking sheet then i'm going to place the fish on top all right so let's move on to the rest to the next step and keep on watching if you're enjoying watching this video so far give this video a big like and if you're new subscribe 
don't forget that post notification bell here i am again with my favorite seasoning my adobo i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the adobo on the fish you can use salt or any seasoning or purple seasoning of your choice Then next, I'm going to go ahead and add my blended ingredients. Yes, my knockouts for my fish. I'm going to rub it on the fish. Make sure you rub it in all the nooks and crannies inside the incision. Make sure you put enough seasoning in there and open the fish up and put some inside um, the middle of the fish. Just make sure you season it and season it really, really well. Yes, like I said, you can use that citric acid. It's just like adding lime on your fish, all right? And it would taste exactly like lime instead of just squeezing lime on your fish. But if you can't find it, you can go ahead and just, um, you can use lemon pepper actually if you don't have the citric acid. That also will work perfectly fine. As you can see, I'm using the remaining um, seasoning blended ingredients. I'm going to pour it into my potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and mix them until they're well combined. So keep on watching and I hope you are enjoying this video so far. So gently I am just going to go ahead and place the potato all around the fish like so and spread it all out and then I'm going to go ahead and um, my oven is already preheating for 450 degrees. Mind you guys I bake this fish almost like one hour. The reason why I bake it for one hour is because of obviously as you can see for yourself the fish is very big. But if you're not using a big fish like I'm doing in the video here, the most you can um, put it in the oven is 45 minutes, 30, 35 to 45 minutes, the max. But you want to make sure the fish is done and also the potato is also done. So after spreading the potato all around the fish, I'm going to um, cover the fish with the, with the uh, foil paper like so. And I'm going to double foil it and just cover it and put it in the oven like i said and my oven was preheating for 450 and i bake it for four forty-five 45 minutes to almost to an hour 60 minutes because of the fish is big i know you guys might say oh it's a long time to uh, put the fish in the oven but yes you want to make sure your fish is done it's not raw and you also want to make sure your potatoes are also cooked I went ahead and covered it with a foil. I'm going to, like I said, put it in the oven and bake it and I'll come back and check on it. But if you're using a smaller fish, you don't have to use that much amount of time for the, um, over 45 minutes. Because of my fish is big, that's why I use that much amount of time. But you, if you're using a small fish, you can put it for at least 30 to 30, 30 to 45 minutes max. But for me, I went over 45 minutes. drum roll this was after 60 min 60 minutes later let's see how the fish looks With a smile on her face every day. there we go this is one great recipe and it's quick it's easy and it's delicious 
you can make this for your whole family and everybody will enjoy i'm telling you guys i only ate one 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 side of the fish that like close to the incision and i was so full it is pretty it looks good it's delicious it's quick and it's easy the whole family will enjoy this recipe if you enjoy this video give this video a big like if you're gonna make this recipe make it and leave your comment down below don't forget to like share and leave your comment if you have any comment or any question just feel free to ask i will ask i will answer all of your questions accordingly all right if you enjoy watching this video like i said or you plan on making this um, baked fish with potato thank me later thank me later because i cannot tell you don't take my word for it there's no other way i will make fish other than this way i'm telling you if you're trying to um go healthy or you're trying to you know just watch your figure or whatever and you love fish you're a fish lover this is one recipe you don't want to miss all right and here you go it is all ready for you guys it is beautiful and i hope you guys will try this recipe don't forget to like, share, and comment, and give this video a big like. Thank you all so much for watching. Until I come your way next time, may peace be unto you all. I'll see you all in my next upload. Bye-bye. Show you